The MC-21, the first experimental long-range passenger aircraft of domestic Russian production, conducted its inaugural test flight at the Zhukovsky Airfield near Moscow on July 14, 2025. The Russian onboard radio electronic equipment was effectively tested during the 3.5-hour flight, which was accompanied by a positive evaluation from specialists. The aircraft is outfitted with an onboard equipment complex, auxiliary power unit, air conditioning and pressure regulation systems, lighting, cockpit control displays, electrical power supply, hydraulic systems, and landing gear that are all manufactured in Russia. Currently, the import substitution program involves two prototype aircraft. The first aircraft is already equipped with all necessary domestic systems and is undergoing certification tests in Zhukovsky. The second aircraft is in the process of replacing all key components, including control systems, power supplies, fuel level sensors, and bearings with Russian-made alternatives. It is preparing for ground certification tests at the Irkutsk Aviation Plant. Performance characteristics of the new systems are being further refined. As part of the serial production deployment, the Irkutsk Aviation Plant has over 20 MC-21 airframes, according to the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC. The 14 fully assembled airframes have successfully completed significant manufacturing milestones and are currently in the process of advancing toward certification and flight testing as they continue to be prepared for serial production. In the interim, the nine additional aircraft are still in the process of undergoing preliminary manufacturing processes, including component assembly, system integration, and structural work, and have not yet reached full assembly. These nine aircraft are not supplementary or unique units. Rather, they represent the subsequent phase of production. They will progress through the remaining phases of manufacturing, ultimately achieving the status of fully assembled, tested, and certified MC-21 planes. This ongoing production flow is intended to ensure a consistent supply of completed aircraft, thereby facilitating the program's objective of initiating serial deliveries in the vicinity of 2026. At the Strategic Aviation Industry Session, Prime Minister Mikhail Mishustin said that serial production of the MC-21 should commence no later than October 2026. The introduction of mass production for the light multi-purpose aircraft Baikal must adhere to similar deadlines. It was emphasized that the delays in these programs are no longer tolerable and that the final design and certification work on all critical domestic projects, MC-21, Superjet, IL-114, Baikal, must be completed on schedule. A high-level delegation recently visited the MC-21 airliner assembly line, the final assembly workshop for aviation equipment, and the hangar for ground testing of completed aircraft. The members of the delegation were briefed on the plant's technical re-equipment projects. They inspected a building under construction for major aircraft repairs the progress of reconstruction of the electroplating production building, as well as wastewater treatment facilities on the plant's premises. During the visit, Sergei Chemizov discussed ensuring the plant's workload, funding for serial production, and cooperation under the MC-21 program. The MC-21 is a modern Russian short- and medium-haul passenger aircraft designed to replace the antiquated Tu-154 and Tu-204 families, and provide an alternative to foreign-made aircraft. The aircraft is intended to convey passengers, baggage, and cargo over distances of up to 5,100 kilometers and has the potential to be upgraded to a long-range version. However, concerns have been raised that the increase in weight may reduce the aircraft's range to nearly half. Russia is in the process of creating a shorter version to address the range and weight issue. In the meanwhile, Efforts are being made to reduce the weight of the plane as testing and production progress. By 2030, the Aeroflot Group plans to obtain 108 MC-21 aircraft and increase its fleet to 200 by 2033, making it a significant customer of the MC-21. It is anticipated that commercial operations will commence in the fourth quarter of 2026. 
It was confirmed at the Inoprom exhibition that the final phases of certification are underway for fully import-substituted MC-21, Superjet, and IL-114 liners. The updated Superjet with the Russian PD-8 engine is expected to be certified by December 2025. In August of the current year, the aircraft is scheduled to participate in the certification program following the completion of the first completely Russian MC-21 flight with all domestic systems. In the interim, the regional aircraft Baikal is under construction and will ultimately be equipped with a Russian engine to serve local roads. Consequently, the MC-21 program is making important progress toward mass production by integrating the most advanced Russian aviation technologies with a comprehensive import substitution strategy. The domestic aviation industry anticipates the completion of critical projects for regional and local flight segments, in addition to the acquisition of a competitive medium-haul airliner by 2026. Now, do you think production before testing is a good strategy? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.